welcome to my video on how to paint this forest scene with a credit card and just one paint. Now I know it looks like I've used multiple different colours, maybe black, brown and blue, but this is one paint, I promise. So what I've used for this painting is Iron Plum, a watercolour paint by Wallace Seymour. It's my new favourite paint colour, overtaken by Payne's Grey, which I also love, but you can see with this Iron Plum, it creates all of these different colours when you add water to it. Um, I've used Bockingham, Bockingford 300 gram cold pressed paper, a chopped up credit card, a fine mist spray, and I've also used a Daily Rowney number no. 6 pointed wash brush. I've added um, masking tape around the edges to give me a nice border and I've used my credit card, I just dipped it into the paint, the fresh tube paint to just drag it along and I'm not trying to get a consistent line, I'm trying to sort of bring it down in places. So have an experiment with all sides of the paintbrush, I, when it's dry like this you can pull the paint down and it creates quite like a dry brush effect. I've started adding water, this is um, this is my pointed wash number six brush and just so that, to make sure that the paint goes in the way I want it to I'm tilting the pa paper up a little bit. This is um, going to be from a photo inspired by my father's um, photo of some woods. I don't know where he took them, probably in the New Forest. So as you can see I'm using a really really wet brush trying to make it sort of as wet as possible and dragging some of the paint down in some places to make it a little bit more interesting. Still using the credit card. So if you're doing this at home, just have an experiment, really have a bit of a play. Here I'm sort of dragging the, um, the credit card up to create trees, spraying as I go with the fine mist spray, just to see what sort of effect I get when it's, when I, when I spray. And to make tra trees, they generally start wider at the bottom and work obviously thinner at the top. So if you've got some branches, it's very rare. I don't think I've ever seen a tree with a thicker branch on top. They get always a bit thinner. So work from thick to thin. Use your credit card in different ways. And stroke it up like that or you can move it to the side like I'm doing. Now with this particular Iron Plum watercolour, uh, the more water you add, it the more interesting colours that you seem to get out of it. So at the moment it looks almost black but the lighter it gets and the more it dries and the more sort of water, I don't know, the pigments all change. So I had very bluey colours uh, when this finished sort of on the soil side and very browny colours um, in the middle of the painting. It's really, really interesting, really lovely. I really, really love this colour. I think I'll speed up. You can see what I'm doing. I'll speed up um, so you can get a general gist, but um, I basically carry on much like I am now, just building up trees, using the spray to get soft and hard edges. And uh, I'll see you towards the end, I'll put on some music.
And that is how you paint a forest scene with just one colour and a credit card. So I hope you've enjoyed watching that. I hope you give it a go as well. If you do and you'd like to show me, and I'd love to see it, if you could tag me on Instagram, I'm at Sue Cooper Artist, and I'd love to see it. So yes, thanks very much for watching. If you could like and subscribe, I will be eternally grateful. Thank you.